So today at GDC, you showed PlayStation Home for the first time. Uh, it looks like this has been in development for a long time, and I think some people may say it's a knee-jerk reaction to what the other guys are doing, but that's probably not the case, right? No, certainly not. We've been working on Home for two and a half years on PlayStation 3, and actually it started life on PlayStation 2. That was actually my question. Did, why did you guys never get that up and running for the PlayStation 2? We had a very high ambition for home, as you've seen uh, demonstrated today, this kind of multiple media channels all working together on one platform. And one of the key technologies that enables that is cell, uh, being able to decode video streaming in the background, have a lot of peer-to-peer -peer communication in the background. And the other thing is having a hard drive in every machine. And the PlayStation 2 platform was not quite ready, uh, not quite uh, uh, highly optimized enough to achieve those ambitions. So PS3 was the platform that would make this come to life properly. Now home is extremely ambitious. You know, to sort of have this 3D world where you have live broadband video, HD video streaming into the environments. Have you guys had a chance to really test that with the sort of the mass market you're going to have using it? I mean, you have 30, 40, 50 million people using it at once. Is it going to be really hard to sort of keep that all maintaining and running? There are obviously some significant challenges, but we're confident that we can match users' expectations. Um, a lot of the technology um, that we're in, uh, using within Home is technology that's already well proven out in various other uh, applications, but we're just putting it together in a very unique and very PlayStation way. Now why did you guys decide to go with sort of a 3D virtual world versus just using sort of a, a, maybe the cross media bar in a new way or just sort of menus? Well, it's a good question and I think it's important to understand that we're not trying to replace the cross media bar. For many ways of using a PlayStation 3, the cross media bar will be the fastest way to get in, show a photo, show a Blu-ray disc movie or indeed launch a game. But what we can do with Home is build a 3D social network service. We can build a community around games. We can build very immersive experiences that um, kind of fit the game expectations of a large majority of our users. And we think that's going to be very powerful. What was sort of the inspiration for Home? To me, it looks a lot like a, a, a three-dimensional MySpace. I think that you can see a lot of influences from uh, things that are happening on the web, user created content, um, social networking, um, ability for users to express their own creativity and share it with others. And these are trends that we certainly aren't claiming to have invented, but we're bringing together in a very unique way on PlayStation 3 and I think it's going to be a great place to hang out. Now as the service grows, do you anticipate that you'll be able to keep it free forever? We've made no statements about forever, um, but we hope to, um, and we think that the various uh, opportunities that we have to create a very rich and dynamic network of users will give everybody opportunities to make money. Now, one thing I've heard from talking to people, because we sort of saw this last night, it seemed like advertising was pretty pervasive in the home environment. Is that sort of the way you're going to offset the costs of, have, of, make it, of keeping it free for the user? There are three ways that um, we will um, offset the costs of the investment. Um, partly uh, to do with user purchased content, premium content that users purchase with the microtransactions and download to their hard drive. Partly through advertising and partly through B2B or kind of sponsorship type um, opportunities for game and non-game brands. Okay, and then you talked a little bit about how gaming and non-gaming brands would be able to sort of have their own little channels in there. How is that going to work for maybe a site like Game Trailers? How would we get onto the home network? Come and talk to me afterwards. Let's, let's go and have that conversation. That would be great. I mean, we think that this is an opportunity for um, media channels who perhaps are restricted to the two-dimensionality of the web um, to take something into the three-dimensionality of home. And I think that the same content could be enjoyed inside a dedicated Game Trailers lounge, which would be very cool.